So we're re replacing a Generac 50 kW with a 48 kW, which has 1800 RPM engine rotor and stator. We're reusing the old transfer switch from probably about 15 years ago. I did not do this electric work. Nobody that works with us did this electric work. So feel free to comment about it. I don't really care. Anyway, as you can see, even from 15 years ago, 194, if you can see that back there, and 23, same as it is today. And you have your 240 sensing voltage control wires. And then I'm gonna go over here to the unit. This is where it gets a little tricky. Or this is where people screw up. That label, if you can see, is not lined up 100%. So a lot of guys will mess up their connections here. Don't rely on the label so much to be lined up with your connection point. Just think of it as that, the first one, 194, is here, 23, and then your two wire start option. That's what you gotta think about. The rest of it is pretty self-explanatory. And always remember to run your neutral for your battery charger. I don't know why electricians always get this screwed up, I mean, probably because they're thinking about the air-cooled unit, which is internally, uh, it has an internal neutral. So liquid-cooled always need a dedicated 120 volt circuit. That's why it says 120 volts AC for the battery charger, neutral, and your line voltage.